Hey guys, good enthusiasts. I got the uh, side mark optic on my uh, AK and uh, just kind of want to do an update video on it. I'll tell you what I think about it. I'm, I've been having some issues with it, so uh, let's go check it out. Alright, guys, so this is the side mark uh, optic in the I never did a like a uh, unboxing or a review on it. I kind of just showed it off when I was showing off my uh, AK. And uh, a lot of times, in my opinion, you know, I know I do it too. You know, I do unboxings and reviews and stuff like that. But in my opinion, a lot of times, it's good to uh, test it out first for about six to twelve months. That's how you know is how it's going to perform in the long run. And that's exactly what I did. I've, I've had it for probably a little over a year. Uh, whatever, whatever time I've had this AK, that's how long I've had the uh, side mark. So anyway, uh, it worked fine. Uh, I don't know. Like I, like I've said on my videos of this AK, I've, I've, every every chance I've had, I take it out to the range and shoot it. I mean, I shoot it and shoot it so many times. And like I said, I've, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm close to a thousand rounds on this AK. So all of a sudden, it's it's not working anymore. Uh, well, it works, and uh, I'll get to that here in a minute. All right, guys. So this is the side mark and the issues that I've been having. Now that's why I say it's good to uh, test them out for about six months to a year. And I know I've had it for a little over a year. Um, and the the issues that I'm having, I think first of all, I don't think it's it. It can stand up to the uh, recoil of an AK-47, and that's what's happening. Uh, so the issues that I'm having, I go and shoot, and every time I shoot, it turns off, and I got to be turning it on. This is the button to turn it on. So like I said, guys, every time I go shoot, it turns off. So, you know, it, it just can't handle the recoil of an AK-47. So I don't think it's it's made for it for an AK-47 so my plans for this is I'm gonna test it out I'm gonna still uh, and you know it's it's a it's still a good optic you know I think you can buy it between 70 to 100 bucks you know it's still a budget uh, optic uh, my plans is to see if I can mount this on my high point and test it out on the on the high point the high points uh the carbine it's a nine millimeter so I'm I'm thinking it it'll probably work real good on that high point. So that's my plan for this optic. Is I'm gonna mount that on my uh, high point carbine and hopefully that'll work out. And I really like this optic. I mean it's got some uh, different reticles on there and I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. All right guys, so I'm gonna try to show you the the reticles. I mean like I said, it's a really it's still a really good optic, but I just don't think it's made for an AK. And let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that very well through the uh, camera, but it's got it's got different ones, and I think it's it's actually really cool. I just don't think the uh, camera is probably giving it any justice, but. It, it is a good little optic as you can see maybe hopefully you guys can see the the reticle so that's my issue with this uh, side mark I don't think it's made for an AK and like I said every time I go shoot it turns off and I gotta you know I gotta turn it on every time I shoot so uh, it's not working out for me so I'm gonna mount that on my carbine and on my nine millimeter we'll see how that works out but if anyone's uh, has one of these and likes to share their experience i mean if you have a different experience i mean if you have it on your ak or an ar and it's working out for you i would like to know but for me it's not working out and uh, like i said i'm not too worried about it um i'm gonna mount this on my uh, carbine and we'll see how that works out all right guys another thing i wanted to share with you guys is the uh rail system setup i got going on here on my ak and you know at the beginning i i really liked it but the problem is you know it's a little too high you can't really get a good cheek rest when when you're when you're shooting and I'll, I'll show you some little clips of, of you know when we go uh, me and my son go shooting
touching it's you know you can't really get a good cheek rest that you know and as a matter of fact i get a lot of people saying well why why are you shooting that way or for some reason it's just it's because of the of the setup you know you can't get a good cheek rest you're you're kind of like your jaw is up here instead of your cheek so i think it's the setup that we have going on and so i'm going to go ahead and change the setup and i was going to go with the setup that i saw on uh, rich 4150 um i'll leave his link down below if you guys don't know rich i'll leave his link down below he's got a cool setup on his uh ak i kind of liked it but i you know i started doing my research and oh man i just kind of you know, ran across another one that mounts here on my rear sight. And all I had to do is just kind of get this this off, which I saw some videos how to do it. It's not really a big deal. And that rail mounts here. And I'm a, the optic that I'm going to use is the Bushnell, same one I'm using for my AR built. And it's that little small one. So I'm, I'm already liking the setup and the way it looks. It's going to be really low profile. So the rail mounts right here. I think it's maybe about that big. And and we'll see how that works out, man. You know, I'm going to test it out. I'm Like I said, I'm, I'm liking already. I can picture the way it's going to look. Like I said, the rail is going to mount here. And the optic, I'm going to mount it here. So it's going to be, the optic is about that big. So you guys seen it, the Bushnell. Uh, what is it? T, TRS 25, whatever it is. Uh, I will make a, a video on it once I get the 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 rail system that new rail system, and once I get the uh, the optic, I ordered another optic um, for this AK that Bushnell. So once I get that in, I'll I'll make a a video on it and share it with you guys so you can see the setup. Anyway, guys, that's my uh, update. Um, I'm gonna change the uh, optic. I'm gonna change my rail system go with a different setup because this one's just too high can't get a good cheek rest on it when we're shooting and uh like i said i'm i'm really i can picture the uh, setup now with the low the with the rail here and the bushnell here and it, it's just gonna i think it's just gonna be a lot better um setup so that's it guys i appreciate you guys watching like share and subscribe you're hitting